morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, sir. What is your name? Engineer Martin Spazu is my name. Right, sir. What is your take on the presidential primary that is about to start tomorrow? Well, it's, it's good that uh, by tomorrow we all know where we are going. APC is having their own on Sunday, PP on Saturday. Uh, we just hope that we'll be able to get the right president at this point in time. Of course, we've been struggling to get the best for many years. This time around, we just hope the two parties should be able to you know, position the right candidate that will take Nigerians to the Adorado, to the promised land. There's no reason why Nigerians should be suffering or be in poverty or in lack as a nation. We are blessed with both human and natural resources. We mentioned it anywhere in the world. We are so blessed. But uh, we don't have leaders, and that's why we are among the poorest nation. And so we just pray that by Saturday or Sunday, we want to get a candidate who will, you know, fly the ticket of the party in February next year when the election will be, the election will be conducted. And so we get a right person who will understand the country, who has uh, what it takes to take the country to a permanent land in terms of uh, economic recovery. The economy is so bad now. Inflation rates. Look at uh, cost of productions and all that. So things are not normal. Look at insecurity everywhere. Killing, kidnappings, bandits, and the so we need somebody who can, you know, take this out of our problem and then we can move forward as a nation. About 3,000 delegates to determine the primary of APC and PDP. What is your take on that? What? 3,000 people determine the fate of 120, 200 million Nigerians. Of course, that's what is sustainable for now. It could have been more than that if the letter has been signed into law. But at least that would minimize costs. Imagine you are expecting that 10,000 people in Abuja to go and vote. You know the cost implications on the delegate on the aspirant. They will spend more. Uh, Abuja will be congested. There will be a lot of security risk and all that. So 3,000, 2,000 plus from APC, 800 plus from PDP. They seem, you know, manageable. But what is important is, is it's not the number that is important. Rather than 1 million or 5,000, the 3,000 that are going there will they vote according to their conscience. We will not be driven by money or influenced by money. We don't do the, the right thing. We don't vote their conscience. And that's what's important. It's not about the number. I don't care about the number. I am care about those who, who are going there. Are they going to vote based on their belief, based on what they think is right? If that is possible, then we can move to, uh, to the next level. Actually, all expectations are focused on Abuja, the Eagle Square, and uh, Moshud Abiola Stadium which both, from, uh, both APC and PDP will hold their primary receptive. We hope that everything works out well and the, the, the candidate that each of them choose will determine whether Nigeria will be in peace or it will scatter. About 3,000 delegates to determine the primary. What is your take on that? Actually, uh, the number did not even represent the interest of Nigeria because when you see uh, 2,000 plus will determine the, the, uh, the, who become the candidate of APC, while 811 will determine who become the, uh, the candidate of uh, PDP. Now, uh, apart from the money that will be flowing left and right in the primary, the interest, the we and the interest of people will not prevail because of the money and the dollar that we had that they are, according to information, some of the candidates uh, some of the aspirants are scheduled to pay like five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars across, and they are keep uh, the money that keep flowing. We change the will of people voting right candidates to become to uh, to flag the uh, the party ticket come 2023. In fact, to my own opinion, three thousand plus cannot represent the interests of Nigeria to determine who becomes the next president in the two party.